read the bottom message. That's pretty much all I want for this weekend, man. That's it. That's all I can ask. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. This is my week 12 Sunday night football preview between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los Angeles Chargers. All I want is to just win, go into the bye week. We have a good track record heading into bye weeks. I just hope it continues and we can get a dub. I don't care how. I don't care, you know, the details of the game like I always say. Just freaking win. That's it. Because this organization owes it to us after the BS that they've done this year. And just the lack of moves, the lack of everything that they've done. They owe it to us big time. So before I get into the video, guys, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe. Helps out the channel a lot. And, you know, I always, like, enjoy doing these win or lose. These are always fun videos to make. Um, and, you know, it's just always a fun time on here. And honestly, if I were to tell you guys one thing, it would be that the these videos and these, I guess, previews, post games. They ease the sting a lot in terms of how the season has gone. And I apologize, my voice is a little raspy right now. But I got to tell you, this is, you know, a, a very passionate, like, you know, channel, obviously. But right now, it just may not sound like it. But yeah, overall, these are really fun to do. And it really takes out the sting a little bit from this Bengals season. So like, comment, subscribe, guys. It always is appreciated. But anyway, they get on to this video. Let's take a look at us, man. We're 4-6. and six. We are the most inconsistent team in the league, if you ask me. I mean, Joe Burrow is keeping us absolute afloat. You know, Jamar Chase as well. You know, this dude has been all-world, as expected. But the defense. We can't hold leads in key games. It's a frustrating inability that we just have on this team. And unfortunately, we have to deal with it. Because, unfortunately... We did not make any changes to that defense. All we did was add a running back for depth issues and signed a couple guys off the practice squad. Whoop de doo. So this is our this is how we look coming into this game. Coming off a, a excruciating loss to the Baltimore Ravens on Thursday night. So the one positive thing I will say is at least we do have a 10-day break. But still, this is ridiculous. How we've done. You know, with this this offense, this, you know, load of talent, this is really what we're doing. It's a shame. But that's what we're that's how we look coming into this game. That's how these guys look coming into this game. This is how, you know, we basically We did it to ourselves. I mean you can blame the refs. You can talk about one possession games. But we've had so many instances and so many seasons where one possession games have always been an issue for us. And eventually it's got to come to the point where it's got to be the other way around. So that's how we look coming in. But let's look at our opponent, man. They're on the opposite end of the spectrum. They're 6-3. and three. They're two games above us under Jim Harbaugh, former Michigan coach, obviously, and 49ers coach. So he's back in California. And their defense has not played, while well, they haven't played an elite offense like us, They've only allowed 13 points a game. You know, Justin Herbert, he has, I looked like in the last like five weeks, he has zero turnover worthy plays. So he's been just, you know, very, very good. And, you know, it's important for the Chargers especially to keep pace in this division because, you know, obviously they play in a division with the Kansas City Chiefs. So they're racking up wins. They're keeping up with them the best that they can. And they're going to be in the playoffs probably. And they're coming off a three-game winning streak. So they're 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 rolling coming into this game. They haven't played the greatest teams. I mean, they played the Tennessee Titans last week, um, a game that they should have won and they did win. But you look at you look at the Bengals. I mean, their offense should be able to, you know, still put up a, a very good game. That's just what they do. They're still going to get theirs. That's how great they are. But it's like, I just don't get it, because we have so many chances to, you know, win. But it's just like like you can look at look you look at the one possession games and all you want. 
But if you don't drop games against like the New England Patriots, for example, in week one, I get it. It's week one. The season would be completely different. It's about taking care of business. And yeah, we got unlucky. You know, we played, you know, on the, the, the I believe it was fourth and 16 or whatever you want to call it. That That's the game I refer to it. The fourth and 16 game against the Kansas City Chiefs. And, you know, you play the Commanders early in the season when, you know, teams don't have as much tape on Jaden Daniels. But look what they did. So it's like, there's so many instances where we could have come out with a win. We get one defensive stop in that Commanders game. We don't commit that, you know, blatant P.I. foul. Maybe the refs get their, you know, eyes checked. It's a different season. Last week against the Ravens, they noticed those two penalties. Probably a different game. So... One of the things that I, I'll i say, you can't look at the Chargers and say, okay, well, that's just how we roll. And no keys to victory this time, I'm sorry, but these are the keys that we're struggling this year. Because, you know, honestly, come to think of it, guys, the Bengals, they don't follow these keys to victories, so I'm not going to give them to them. I'm just going to say this is the keys to struggling. So in a way, I guess you can look at it as keys to victories, but the rushing defense, obviously they've been inconsistent, but they have been getting their crap together a little bit recently but the past defense has been terrible we've had inconsistent performances throughout all different games and you can talk about the the range of how good the opponents are but critical mistakes and high pressure moments as well not clutch and we're just getting thin and everybody's laughing at you because i'll tell you guys rivals are stacking up wins and it's just not been a good time for us because We're in third place. Baltimore and Pittsburgh, they played this week. They're battling for first place in the division. I really, I'm not even saying that because I'm a Bengals fan. I really expected this team to be back in that contention. And they're not. Unfortunately, they're not. It sucks. But, you know, our our patience is getting thin after every loss. I think this is the last straw. Um, Heading into the bye week, you don't want to go 4-7 and because then you can just forget about the season. And again, I don't want to hear like, well, if they lose this game, technically they can make it if they... No, I'm tired of that. They got to win, period. End of story. They got to win. That's it. Because our patience is getting thin, and you do not want to go against a hated rival. And I want to speak on Zach before I get into all that. We are all tired of all these missed opportunities. It's like we just find ways to blow games. And Zach... In his post game against the Ravens, he said, they're talking big, but they're not backing it up. Because let me tell you, he said in the post game against the Ravens, this team will be there in the end. I, I haven't seen any evidence to make me believe that this dude is speaking the truth. I'm sorry. Other than the fact that you want to look at our one possession games like record, if it was flipped, I, I saw a stat. If the one possession games were flipped the other way. We deserve more than this just repeated letdowns and just heartbreak. You got to show some real urgency. Now, I saw like the Bengals' next five games. That's obviously the Chargers, and it's a bye week. Steelers, Cowboys, Titans, Browns. We can win all five. I'm not saying we can't win all five. We can win all five. But I, I said this on Instagram, or I saw it on Instagram. I was thinking it. We don't have the sense of urgency to. So we'll probably drop two or three of those games. I'm just going to be real with you. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not I, I'm not saying that's the end-all, be-all in terms of my conclusion. But right now, I just haven't seen enough. I'm sorry. Could that change? Sure. But it starts this Sunday. So we deserve better, man. I'm sorry. But here's my final message. The clock is ticking. Your rivals, the Chiefs, forget about them. They're 9-0. The Broncos and Colts, you got to keep pace with them. Those are the teams that you need to root for to lose, and you need to continue to rack up wins. Sorry, not continue. You need to start racking up some wins. Your rivals are continuing. But if you lose this, like I said, you're done. But please, you've been disrespected. Prove it all wrong for once. Because right now, honestly, guys, I hate to say it, 
Like if someone if someone disrespects the Bengals, of course I'll be pissed because that's just you know that's the team I rock with. But they're not at the end of the day they're not proving it wrong, so they can talk whatever they want when you think of it. Go into the bye at five and six, we'll feel semi good, and then you come home against a hated rival, the Pittsburgh Steelers. You feel somewhat good, but the clock is ticking, guys. I'm sorry. It's time to get a win. It's top, top, enough of the BS, enough of the, you know, the, oh, you know, we can rely on this if we lose this game. But no, you got to win, period. That's the only way you keep your season alive. And I, I really hope our team can do this because I really don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this right now. I don't feel great. I mean, I'm picking us to win out of pure desperation if you saw my picks video. It comes down to who is more desperate. The Bengals, they need this win more than the Chargers do. So that's my two cents on this matchup. It comes down to desperation. And if we lose this game, you can forget it. No one will feel good. Not a single person. You won't see. You Here's the thing. On Twitter, you have not seen a single bit of optimism. Before the Raiders game, if you saw, you would not see a single bit of optimism. I mean, after that Eagles game, it was amazing. Like when I looked, every time I'd look on social media, you would see nothing positive about the Bengals. And it's in the same, it's it's around the same par right now. So, you know, it's, that's just, that's just, that's just sad. But I guarantee you, if we lose this game, it'll, ha it'll be the same way, if not worse. So you have to win this game, period, end of story. Clock is ticking. So win the damn game, please. But that's it, guys. As far, as far as my preview, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, as I always say, man. And, you know, I'll say this again. These are always fun to make, and it really just... It, it makes the season a lot less, uh, you know, insufferable. Or, and a lot more bearable, I should say. Because the Bengals have not been a great team right now. And we can hope that turns around. Starting this Sunday on Sunday Night Football in Week 12 against the Los Angeles Chargers. A rematch of the Freezer Bowl. But, you know, that's it. That's it. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Who day as always. Let's get a win this Sunday, man. You guys take care.